All right, it's game two of my, <coughs> excuse me, uh, chat tournament match with Akiyama. Let's look at the hands. I noticed two A8 corners for nine. A lot of cards that fit in nine. One card for one, one card for three. In my hand, I have a 10 up, a 10 down, a 10 to the right, eight to the left, followed by a seven. But the seven does cover their best right power. Um, in any square but seven. I would kind of like to start in nine. I think that's the the square that's potentially uncomfortable, but maybe I don't have a good card to do so. I'm currently thinking a8, five, six, and nine. The idea being they are worst facing that direction my 9884 gives decent supporting coverage. It can combo their, uh, they only have one capture with 6887. I have that covered. Maybe I should be thinking um, 8A56. That doesn't give their 6887 as much play. Um, 8A56, if they take with 6887, I combo back. And if they take with a 65A7, I guess I'm saying I'm making the game facing right, and I'm pretty happy with that. That makes it hard to take, and it's also hard for them if they're stuck with all these corner cards for 9 in a game facing towards 9. So I feel really strong instinct to go in 9. I wish I had a little more combo play against Satan. So if I start with 8a5, 6, and 9, and they take with 6, 5, a7, maybe I should just take back. If I take back with 8a5, 6, uh, 8, 5, 6, I have the same in 5 that's pretty powerful. I have a bunch of other recaptures too that might also play well. But they have a lot of coverage of the others. They have a lot of combos on the others. So probably a five six. Do they have a big punish in four there? I'd be surprised. So I think I will go for that. Um, do they have big setups in five? I should check that. That's important to check. Sorta. Sorta. But I think I can run them out of rightward power in the relevant lines. For instance, the line I was thinking, if they go like five with one of the sevens down, they set up choo-choo for eight. Um, if I block eight, they then have the capture in six. And if I take that, they can take from three, they can take back with Satan, uh, with Satan in two, no matter what I took with. And I don't have a combo on that. And you kind of need combos at the end of those chains. But one thing that's nice for me is potentially um, against either of the things with a 7 down in 5, my A856 has a combo in 4, possibly at the end of lines. Um, I'm not sure if that card will stay in my hand long enough for that to happen, because that might be what goes in 8 to block 8. Because I probably will be blocking 8. Yeah, so they do do that. He plays very quickly here. And sadly, I really wish I could put 7, 8, 5, 8, and 8. But I do think I'm probably supposed to block 8. We were clearly thinking the same way here. Um, oh, 8, 8, 5, 6, they have the combo on 2. Oh, I totally blanked on that. If I use 5, 7, a 7, I don't have downs. So I was thinking through this worse. That said... Is this a problem? I kind of doubt it. Um, I'm going to have pretty decent side-to-side -side sweepers. If the combo in 8. Don't know if it matters. I go there. 
I like that my 7858 eight controls the bottom row. That's now making me think I should go in four because that can take, not only can it take anything they put in seven, it can combo a lot of the things they'd want to put in seven. So potentially a8, 5, 6, and 4 is a little tricky. Downside, I have trouble taking it back. Um, can also maybe go in 2. No, I don't really like 2. I think they go 3. Um, do we have a big combo set up in 1? Mm, 5, 7, a7 I think I don't want out of my hand. Um, 9, 8, 8, 4, and 6 kind of forces them to go 8. I can then take 8. I can take 8. They take... Probably take 8 with 7, 8, 5, 8. So that if they take, their only capture is Satan, and I have 9884 to combo back, or at least threaten to. I think that only leads to a tie. No, 5787's a really good sweep. No, 9884 is not. Okay. Um, there, there. I've forgotten what the first move I'm even looking at is. 9884 in, um, in 6. I don't think it's more than a tie. Okay. Um, if I want to go in four, how am I going to do it? I think it has to be a five six if I want to go in four. I had ideas in eight, but I don't love them. Huh. So I think my main line is they play um, like Luca in seven. I play I play Shala in eight. I will lead six four. They play six five eight seven in. Six, they lead six four. I take with nine eight eight four, and I can combo anything they would put in two. That's my sort of somewhat clever tactical mind. Now they don't have to go in like seven or anything. Just for some reason, it really popped out at me as where to go. The only thing 7858 eight doesn't have covered in 8 is A487, eight, which I don't have covered at all, actually. I missed that. So they could slide in there. But I think we end up with a similar line, right? Of I go 7858 eight, and 7, they can then go 6587 and 6, they will lead 64, but I get them with 9848 eight, and 3. So. Similar concept. I don't really have plans against other moves. <laughs> that was just the one that popped out at me. I think I have really good side-to-side -side sweepers. If they go in one or six, I'm likely to go in the other one because I, I just think I'm going to have good captures going side-to-side. -side. 
Now, maybe that's not true, because Luka 8 is a problem. Not only can I not take it, but it has the combo potential on 5, meaning if they go like 1, I go 6, they can do something in 2 or 3, because it's hard, or say 2, because if I go 3 taking them, they can combo back through 8, and I don't have play on that. Okay, I did not consider this, but I think it's the same idea. I think it's the same idea of they have combo play in eight. Interesting. Okay. If I... No, that doesn't work. Um, if I go nine, eight, eight, four, and six, and they start in eight. So I'm up six, four right now. They start in eight. Um, if they do it with Luca, it's five, five. It will stay five, five, and my five, seven, eight, seven will sweep them. If they do it with Choo Choo, I will take, they will have flipped two cards, they will be up 6-4, I will take one back, it will be 5-5, five, five, and 5-7-8-7 five, seven, seven will again sweep that endgame. So they can't start in 8, they, and they can't start in um, 7, because then I block 8, um, and have the same thing. So they have to start in 1 or 2. Now, if they start in 1, then I'm going to take it with 5-7-8-7, seven, seven. I will take two things, I will be up 8-2, to two. They won't take enough back. I'd avoid combos. So the key move for them is they block one or two. But how do they block two? I guess because Choo Choo can't be comboed, they can have Choo Choo or Luca left over. Um, but they block two, probably with Choo Choo, because I can't play one without walking into a big combo. Because both my cards capture. But if they do it with Choo Choo... Then I can block 8, and I win. So they have to hold on to Choo Choo. So they play 2... Say they play 2 with Satan. That looks like a tie to me. Um, and if they play 2 with Luca don't have to take it. That looks like another tie. Hmm. Alright, so six I think is a tie. Can I block eight immediately? I don't think it does much. Can I block seven immediately? That was the line I looked at first, but I think the problem is I don't quite keep the cards I wanted to keep. I want five, seven, a seven at the end. It sweeps their hand. So, for instance, if I go 9, 8, 8, 4, and 7, I think they play Choo Choo 8. They go up 7 to 3. I have to play 5, 7, 8, 7 in 6 to capture stuff back. It's 5, 5. And then they have Luca in 2. They get a tie. Could I block 8 to start with 9884? They don't actually have a capture. No, they do have captures in 6. They set up captures in 6. 9884. My point is, if they go 7, they go up 6-4. Then... I block six. I'm still down six four. Five seven eight seven isn't a good enough sweeper there. Yeah, I think this is another um, very creative tie. I'm just gonna block six. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else. Neat move. Let's get ready to put this, to post this, and put it in my database. Man, I think I'm getting good positions. Like, their save last game was just an incredible find. Really fantastic play. 
Uh, this game, I think I had less pressure, but they also played so quickly, so it's not like I can be like... It's not like I can take too much from this, um, because it's hard to think you put all that much pressure on someone when they speed played and you couldn't win, right? And you couldn't find moves that you thought were all that hard to save against. So I started 8A569, 8A3785, 8A564, 65A73. He's really styling on me right now. 98846. Um, this is not to say I'm doing badly. I think I've had an advantage both games. But also, both games he's finding really um, spectacular moves to, uh, to hold the positions. Uh, so this game started 9, 5, 4, 3, 6. Just getting ready to post it. I'm going to presume he blocks 2 here. I don't think there's much else. He picked up Luca. Yeah, reasonable. Uh, he plays Luka 2. I'm going to play Shala 1, probably. He plays Chu Chu 8, goes up 6 4. And I plus wall back. And I don't have a chance to go like he goes 2, I block 8, because Chu Chu is the combo there in 7. Chu Chu crushing me. We can all agree, Choo Choo, the best character to come out of Xenogears. Let's make sure everything's recording properly. Yeah, sound looks good. Huh, interesting game. Interesting game. Yeah, Choo Choo, two, uh, sorry, Luca 2. It came up on my other screen. Um, I'm not I'm not a time traveler here. And I play 7858. Eight, and so final move order three six two one eight seven and for my database as well three four seven eight two seven eight five eight one seven six four eight eight Five seven eight seven seven six eight eight seven remaining. All right. Um, I thought his hand was pretty bad, so uh, would have been nice to get a little more pressure out of this one, but that's all right. Man's playing. That's fun. All right, we'll see if we can get another game in here. Yeah, I do think his hand was a uh, pretty poor though, but I didn't get any initiative. All right, uh, so I think okay, we'll be stopping for now. Uh, really good move in three again. All right, let's bring up the database and just or let's bring up the solver. I mean, and just uh, gotta type in cards and uh, see how, uh, how nicely he saved that, because last game uh, it was an only save. Really impressive to find. This game, I think I got less pressure. I don't think this one was anything like an only save, but also he saved a really uncomfortable hand really, really solidly. Like, Choo Choo is a nice combination with Luca or 8378. Those cards play well together, but you don't want both, right? And my hand definitely had more, more power cards, right? Let's switch over, see what Monsieur Solver has to say. Did I have something better than four, I guess, is the big question? started in nine. It looks like this was a pretty decent starter. Um, takes a while to do the whole first move, but it looks like over half his replies were losing. 
Um, he went a3, 7, 8, in 5. No, this looks like a very strong starter. Now I'm worried that I might that I might have missed a win. All right, so after the first move, 28 of his moves lost, only 12 tied, but he found one of the 12 ties. So I had a bunch of ideas here. I didn't think I had a great way to, um, let's just ask, what would the solver do first? See what that spits out. Nine, eight, eight, four, and six, yeah. I did consider that. That gives three ties, but you know, it is the, the normal move, right? The normal move is, all right, there's a tie in two. What the? <laughs> what? Is that really a tie? No, okay. Of course that's not a tie. But there is a tie in two. This in two. Okay. That's a little less nonsensical. What a weird move. Forcing me to occupy three, because now there's a real threat in three. And then I guess choo choo and seven hits hard? Like, say, do it this way. Yeah. Oh, what a weird idea. And, you know, something like this, they can block here. Huh. Alright, that's very creative. Okay, sometimes the solver finds cool things. There's also, uh, this is apparently a tie. But more importantly, this is a tie, and that's just kind of the standard move to make. And after here, here, I think the problem is my a8, 5, 6 is dead. So, okay, uh, very nice move in 5. Um, I considered this move in 6, didn't go for it, instead went here. Which I thought was tricky. 6 moves tie, but if more moves tie against the j in the J setup than in a more forcing setup, right? Like, this move kind of forces the action, right? Basically, he either has to go, eight has to work, or the position's really difficult. Here, eight works, so the position's not that difficult. Um, here, there are six moves that tie, but they might all be harder to find. So that's the hope from my perspective. All right, apparently this ties again, but <laughs> it's just what what human is ever making this move? What a what a wild idea! All right. So, okay, that one's not real. Apparently this ties. Okay, maybe maybe this is in, in Deli All's moveset, but like, it's, it's not in mine. This one makes more sense to me, though. You have the big follow-up with 6, 5, A, 7, and 3, and you create a threat in 1. Though it is shared, but you create a threat in 1. This one makes a little more sense to me, but those are not moves I'd expect. Um, this is a tie? a hard move to play, but you have combo potential in 8. Yeah, that makes some sense. I probably end up going 6 here. Something like this. And then there's 2 ties. Both in 2, which makes sense because that's the square he can control the combo back. Um, so 1 was another tie. And then 6 was a tie. Okay, that's believable. 1 and 6. Seem what? What's happening? <laughs> Why is two so... Okay, I guess part of the reason two is specifically good here is because there is such a good combo in eight. Because he both combos through eight and is safe. Which makes it even more wild that this is a tie because that's such a key comboer. But he has both combos there. All right. So it's very dependent, I guess, for two here to work on having eight. And I didn't really... I often underestimate the power of combos through five. So I clearly underestimated that. But also, uh, this is the other tie. So I think the conventional ties were kind of one or six. Then there were just a handful of wild ties in five, in two, and then this one. So I guess it wasn't the most like off the wall, crazy creative tie, but a really nice move. And I didn't have a win here. This gave him only one tie, which he found easily. And uh, again, I can say this game I applied pressure. He only had one tie here, but I think a player of Akiyama's caliber is never blowing this position. And I think this position actually turned out to be pretty good pressure. You know, two conventional moves tie, but that means a whole lot of conventional moves don't. Uh, three absolutely ridiculous moves in two tie, but, you know, 
when you look back, if those were your only ties, you would not blame yourself for missing them. And this really good move in three. So I think, again, coming out of this game, all I can do is be like, I played pretty good and applied good pressure. And not only did he handle it, he handled it, like, very quickly. He played three very fast. That's really impressive. He does a lot of these moves that just rely on huge combo potential and just having all the squares. And it always feels to me like it would take a lot of calculation. And maybe he's done that calculation. You know, maybe, you know, a lot of the time he's looking at the moves before you're making them. And maybe A8, 5, 6, and 4 was the move he expected. Um, much like I was saying, 5 looks reasonable to me right as he played it, right? We were very much on the same page there. So maybe he recognized my idea in 4 and already had the idea in 3 ready to go. Or just in general thought, if I have a chance to play that card in 3, that's going to be a really powerful effect. But it's it's very interesting move, because it, it gives me much better play in 2, and that seems like it should matter. But maybe it just doesn't. Like, why would it? Right? The three's never comboing anything. The seven's never comboing anything. The eight, the combo there has been blocked. So why would a combo in two be all that scary? Uh, especially as I'm likely to occupy six. So this is a game where, like, against anyone else, I think I would evaluate this as I got good pressure. And here I just, I think against Akiyama, I didn't. I think I'm never winning this game against him. That's pretty cool. That's really impressive. So we'll, I guess we'll see how future games go, but, ah, very interesting game. Two very interesting games so far.